It's nice to meet you, Eric. Hi, I'm Ms. Bynum. Are you guys ready to learn more about everyday mathematics? Oh, we are so psyched, though. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> well, we are going to um, introduce you to the people behind the scenes. Oh, wow. So you are going to see some of our designers, and we're going to meet some of the authors. So the guys cool. and girls that actually write the stuff are here, too. So oh, it's wow. a special treat for you guys today. Can we ask them questions? Absolutely. If you're ready, I'm ready. There you are. Are you ready to go behind the scenes with everyday mathematics? Yeah. All right, we have a whole cadre of people ready to meet you. Come on in and say hi. Hi. We're so glad to have you today. I do like math. And will I still love math with Everyday Mathematics 4? Yes, I think you will love math even more with Everyday Mathematics 4. And it, the reason is that all the people who wrote it, we love mathematics so much, I, I think we've, we've done a good job in, in making that come through and not make math fun only because it's, it's prettied up and, and you're filled with distractions, but because the math itself is a lot of fun. And you'll love that in Everyday Mathematics 4. What do you guys think is going to be the most exciting thing for kids like me to learn in the new Everyday Mathematics 4? For me, the thing I'm most excited about is the digital version of Everyday Mathematics 4, which is going to be taking advantage of all the cool hardware and software that kids have at access to now. And we're now able to create the Student Learning Center, which takes advantage of the mathematics software that's been created to really change the content and approach it in a way that's different from print. You could complete all of your activities on, on a tablet or on a computer device. The activities not only have all, the, all of the questions that are asked in the program, but you would also be able to use virtual manipulatives, e-tools, that should be able to help you learn the concepts even, even better. It's really cool. So with the new uh, Student Learning Center, uh, can it help you with your homework? It can. It's pretty cool. So it's taking everything that you used to do on paper and pen and making it digital. If you're um, just kind of stuck and you can't remember how to solve that type of problem, we've put all the different problems that have come up before in this little activity kit for you and you can bring them up and it's a reference for you so you can see how you solved it before and you can solve it again. We also have this cool um, feature called a hint and it not only reads the hint to you, um, it's got audio, but it also tells you, okay, so it's obviously that you're struggling on this, why don't you try and solve your problem through using the e-tools that we've provided for you. And then you get to go down and bring up your e-tools and you can help um, use those as virtual manipulatives so everything that you need to solve all those problems, we've added it in as a packet. Wow. It's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Can't wait to try that one out. <laughs> yes. What other research and development goes into or has already gone into making Everyday Mathematics 4 just that much better than the last version that was out? So the research that we do complements the research activities that the authors do. They focus on the content and how students learn. We're kind of focused, at least on the digital side, how we present the materials and how students interact with the content on a, on a specific digital device. So everything has been thoroughly tested with, with students and with teachers, so all the decisions are made for you, by you. What do you learn from it? I mean, what are you getting back from it? We learn a lot of the students' interaction, teacher interaction, and everything that we need for them to be able to interact, like the sizing, color, everything that draws attention so that the student can focus on the thing that matters, which is the problem. Yeah, I think one of the coolest things we get to do, the people around this table, like Armando said, is be in classrooms, watch how people use everyday math materials, learn from it, bring it back here, work on it, make it better. A lot of the things we develop for iPads or for tablets or computers, we bring in kids and teachers and watch them with the things, that the demos and the prototypes that we've built. And we actually show, have video streams that come to all of our offices and we can watch the researchers talk to the to kids and talk to the, to the teachers and ask questions. And because it's really hard to build great apps for iPads and for other tablets. And we need to watch kids and teachers interact with them and see exactly which buttons they push, how they get around, how they navigate through the, the lessons so that we can make it as easy as possible to use. And that's one of, I think one of the funnest things we all are involved with. 
I am working on the Everyday Math activity cards. Really exciting. We're using some art from um, illustrators, and it's been really a nice opportunity. So we've got this really new, great new thing in Everyday Mathematics, activity cards. We have very vibrant characters and different scenarios that kind of bring like real life math problems um, more approachable and friendly and they kind of draw you into like the activity. So um, they're very colorful, they're very friendly, they're very exciting for the program. They'll see students, they'll see different kids that look like them and they'll say, oh I can do this activity, I can do math, math is cool. So you said that you just took the ISAT, right? Yes. Did you feel confident taking the math part? Yeah, I really did. Why? Well, because I felt like with the, all the math that I've learned from all, all the years that I've had, that I've been prepared for it. Yeah? So one of the things I was, um, you know, as I listened to everybody talk, I was remembering that we have this, this great new evaluation tool um, that also works with the spiral. So uh, Luke, what, you're working on that, aren't you? Yes, I'm working with um, on that evaluation tool with a couple of colleagues. Um, as you know, that uh, in the digital world, a student would be able to record their work, whether it's multiple choice or, or drag and drop, or even just you know writing their answers out. We capture that on a, a digital screen, essentially, and that uh, student work, that information is presentable to a teacher, where a teacher can just log in to her device, into her computer, and be able to evaluate that the student work. The report that she gets out of it is, is based on the Common Core State Standard. She's able to receive information about students, how they're doing along that, that trajectory of the spiral, and be able to differentiate or intervene when, when students are struggling. As a teacher, I'm really excited about Everyday Mathematics 4. What are some new assessments that I can look forward to? So when we were planning um, Everyday Mathematics 4, we were asked by a lot of teachers, how do I know if children understood what the focus of the lesson was? And so with Everyday Mathematics 4, we have written assessment check-ins which will offer teachers an opportunity to check in on what the kids learned in the lesson on any given day. Are there any new features that will ensure that all of my students have an opportunity to succeed? Yes, there are three activities, um, a readiness, an enrichment, and an extra practice that will support the various needs of the children in your classroom. There's also a, an English language learner note that is addressed to new English language learners to understand what's going on in the lesson. We have adjusting the activity notes, which support children either who are struggling or who might be going beyond. Um, there are also uh, common misconception notes. And then we also have academic language development notes. So it helps children develop mathematical language and it helps teacher provide the support for them to do so. We love it, we own it. Everyday Mathematics is known as a spiral curriculum. I think what sets Everyday Mathematics apart from the competition is the way it's taught with the spiral. You introduce something, you introduce another thing, and it sort of comes back around. And I think it's sort of a limber and nimble way to teach the content. The curriculum spirals, it's special and fantastic. That means that concepts and skills are taught across units in very specific and particular and well-researched ways. We know that that's the best way that children learn mathematics and learn just about anything is through distributed practice and distributed instruction. And one of the challenges is to know where your students are along that spiraled curriculum to figure out how many more times am I going to see this concept or skill before I need to worry that they should actually know it and they should have it mastered. And so we've developed a tool called the Spiral Tracker that shows exactly how many times that concept or skill is hit along the curriculum, when it happens, even what day it happens. Everyday math is research-based and always has been. And even before the Common Core State Standards were enacted, it thoroughly addressed all strands. So one of the things that I think we're most excited about as writers is the Common Core State Standards, Standards for Mathematical Practice. And we were really excited about those because everyday mathematics has been about all of those things, helping kids problem solve and reason mathematically and communicate ever since the beginning. But one of the things we were able to do in this new edition, Everyday Mathematics 4, was find ways to help teachers and kids do things in the lessons to really draw out those skills by asking questions, doing particular activities. And so I think you'll just find that the lessons are chock full of opportunities for you to understand those practices better and for your kids to get better at doing them. It's really 
brand new for the 21st century, and it fully meets the Common Core State Standards. Teachers will be able to pick it up and teach it from beginning to end, and it will give them confidence that they're meeting the CCS standards and that their kids are going to do well on that test when the test time comes. This has been such an exciting day. We had the opportunity to meet with the authors and the product development team. What are some of the things that you were excited about today? I was really excited about the Student Learning Center and how we got to meet the authors and product designers. It was really cool. Are you excited about the new digital aspect? Totally. And I'm looking forward to the activity cards. Okay, right. I saw how your eyes lit up when they showed you that on the iPad. Some of the things I'm excited about is the ability to be able to evaluate my students as I'm walking around the classroom, so I really love that aspect of it. To me, it seems more than just an update. It seems like a, a, a totally new addition, so to speak. So everything is new. The digital world part of it is new. I'm really excited. I can't wait to tell my colleagues about all the, the passion and hard work they've put into Everyday Mathematics for. It's really cool. What are you going to tell your classmates when you get back to school? I'm going to tell them that they have a lot to look forward to. Students and teachers won't be disappointed with Everyday Mathematics for.